Have you ever wondered what lies at the heart of a black hole? These celestial phenomena have long captured our curiosity, being as mysterious as they are powerful. Black holes are regions of space where gravity pulls so much that nothing can escape its grasp. Not even light, the fastest thing in the universe. They're like the ultimate roach motels. Everything checks in, but nothing checks out. But how do these gravitational giants come into being? The birth of a black hole occurs from the death of a massive star. When stars more than 25 times the size of our sun exhaust their nuclear fuel, they explode in what we call a supernova. What remains collapses under its own gravity, condensing into a point of infinite density known as a singularity, the heart of a black hole. Around this singularity, there's a boundary we call the event horizon. This is the point of no return. Once something crosses the event horizon, it's forever lost to the black hole. It's a bit like crossing the edge of a waterfall. Once you're over the edge, there's no swimming against the current. But black holes aren't just about destruction. They play a crucial role in shaping the universe as we know it. Their immense gravity pulls in surrounding matter, helping to form galaxies and stellar structures. In a way, black holes are cosmic architects, sculpting the universe with their gravitational paintbrush. Yet, one question remains. What happens to all the matter and energy that gets sucked into a black hole? Is it destroyed, trapped forever, or does it go somewhere else? Imagine a cosmic vacuum cleaner that sucks up dust and debris. We know where the dust goes in a household vacuum, but where does all this matter and energy go in a black hole? Black holes, the cosmic vacuum cleaners, seem to swallow everything that comes near them. But where does all this matter and energy go? This question leads us to the other side of the coin, the mysterious and hypothetical white holes. Imagine a black hole, but in reverse. That's the basic concept behind white holes. These hypothetical celestial bodies are the antithesis of black holes. Instead of an irresistible gravitational pull, white holes are thought to possess a powerful repulsion, an anti-gravity, if you will. They are the cosmic fountains, spewing out matter and energy where absolutely nothing can get pulled in. The theory of white holes is an interesting one. It's based on the solutions to the equations of Einstein's general theory of relativity, which also predict the existence of black holes. But while black holes are proven entities, white holes remain purely speculative, existing only in the realm of mathematics and theoretical physics. We have yet to observe a white hole, but that doesn't make the concept any less intriguing. So difference in their gravitational tendencies, the matter and energy expelled by white holes is thought to come from, well, we're not entirely sure. Some theorists suggest that white holes could be the exit points for the matter and energy consumed by black holes. This is where the idea of a cosmic connection comes into play. Imagine a black hole and a white hole linked together, forming a cosmic bridge or wormhole. Matter and energy get sucked into the black hole, travel through this bridge, are expelled out of the white hole. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But that's the beauty of theoretical physics. It allows us to explore possibilities beyond the boundaries of our current understanding. So we have black holes pulling in matter and energy, and white holes pushing them out. Could there be a connection? If this is true, it could redefine our understanding of the universe, opening up a world of possibilities. But for now, the mystery of white holes remains an uncharted territory, a cosmic enigma waiting to be explored. Imagine a cosmic loop where black holes and white holes are two sides of the same coin. This is the heart of the cosmic loop theory, a fascinating concept that paints a picture of a universe in delicate balance, maintained by the interplay of these two cosmic marvels. Let's dive a little deeper. Black holes, as we've discussed, are gravity's champions pulling in everything that comes too close, including light. Now, what if this matter and energy don't just disappear, but are transported somewhere else? This is where the concept of white holes comes in. Theoretically, white holes could be the exit point for the matter and energy consumed by black holes, creating a kind of cosmic conveyor belt. In essence, the cosmic loop theory suggests that black holes and white holes are interconnected forming a closed loop of matter and energy. The black holes act as the entrance, drawing in everything within their reach, while the white holes serve as the exit, 
spewing out the matter and energy that were once swallowed by their black hole counterparts. This continuous cycle of attraction and expulsion creates a delicate equilibrium, a cosmic dance, if you will, that keeps our universe stable and dynamic. It's a bit like a never-ending cosmic recycling program, where matter and energy are not simply lost to the abyss of a black hole, but are instead repurposed and reintroduced back into the universe through a white hole. This theory, if proven, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. It would mean that our cosmos is not just a collection of isolated objects, but a complex network of interconnected systems, where every black hole and every white hole plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of the universe. This cosmic loop theory could be the key to understanding the dynamics of our universe. It's a concept that challenges our perception of space and time, and offers a tantalizing glimpse into the intricate workings of our cosmos. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, theories like this push the boundaries of our knowledge, fueling our curiosity and our relentless quest for understanding. This cosmic loop might also explain the expanding universe phenomenon. You see, the universe isn't just sitting still. It's dynamic, ever-changing, and most notably, expanding. But how does this all tie back to our cosmic loop of black holes and white holes? Well, let's dive in. Picture the universe as a cosmic lung, breathing in and out. The black holes serve as the inhale, attracting matter and energy, pulling it all into their inescapable grip. But what goes in must come out, right? That's where the white holes come into play. They act as the exhale, pushing that same matter and energy back out into the cosmos. Now imagine this cosmic breathing cycle happening on a grand scale, with countless black and white hole pairs scattered throughout the universe. As black holes pull matter in, white holes push it back out, creating a constant rhythmic interplay. This tug of war between the black hole's attraction and the white hole's repulsion could very well be the driving force behind our universe's expansion. But how does this explain galaxies moving apart? Well, consider the matter being pushed out by the white holes. This matter, full of energy and momentum, doesn't just stop. It continues to move outward, away from the white hole. And as it does so, it carries galaxies along with it, creating the illusion that they're moving apart. It's an extraordinary thought, isn't it? The idea that the universe's expansion might be due to this cosmic inhale and exhale. It's a theory that not only sheds light on the mysteries of black holes and white holes, but also offers a fresh perspective on the very nature of our universe. So, our expanding universe might be a result of this cosmic inhale and exhale. As we continue to explore the cosmos and unravel its mysteries, we may find that our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving, just like the universe itself. But what if each pair of black hole and white hole represents a single universe? This question takes us down a fascinating rabbit hole of cosmic conjecture. It's the idea of a multiverse, a seemingly infinite array of universes, each bound by its own pair of black and white holes. This suggests that every black hole we observe could be a gateway to another universe, with its white hole counterpart serving as the exit. Imagine the implications. We could be living amidst a cosmic network of countless interconnected realities. These realities might harbor different laws of physics, different dimensions of space and time, or even different forms of life. This multiverse theory is still speculative, of course, but it's an idea that challenges our understanding of reality and pushes the boundaries of cosmic exploration. So next time you gaze up at the starlit sky, remember, we might be just one universe in a vast cosmic network. Let's take a moment to consider the massive black holes at the centers of galaxies. They're not just space oddities. These celestial giants could be playing a pivotal role in maintaining the equilibrium of their respective universes. According to the cosmic loop theory, these central black holes are essentially the universe's anchors. Imagine a ship on choppy seas. Without an anchor, it would drift aimlessly, tossed by the waves. Similarly, in the cosmic ocean of our universe, these central black holes act as anchors, preventing their galaxies from spiraling into chaos. They maintain a delicate balance, attracting matter and energy that white holes repel. So in essence, these colossal black holes are the linchpins of their universes. 
they ensure that the delicate dance between attraction and repulsion, between black holes and white holes, remains in perfect harmony. These central black holes could be the anchors that keep the cosmic balance in check. <laughs>